Ever since Joe Rutman finished last at Rockingham in 2004, Phoenix Racing has been unfairly written off as nothing more than a start and park team. Because of this, even after Brad Keselowski's upset victory at Talladega on Sunday, some fans have refused to give James Finch's operation the credit it deserves for the win. The following is a gentle reminder that Phoenix Racing has had many strong runs with different drivers and manufacturers since the team returned to NASCAR Sprint Cup competition in 2001, even when they didn't have a Hendrick Chevrolet. Watch these cats start going everywhere. Jimmy Spencer goes on the apron. Mike Wallace on the outside moving up. And Steve Park. And look where Gordon ended up after restarting second. He ended up finishing sixth. The traffic mixing and shuffling behind him. But Sadler and Jeff Berlin not able to mount a charge yet. to the lead. Jeremy Mayfield still trying his best to get by. Mike Wallace can't do it. Mike, Mike's doing a good job. He's doing a fantastic job. That car ran well in practice yesterday. Ten laps to go. Look at him through the trial. From about third through 20 up there, three wide. Ten laps to go. You know who's loving this? Johnny Saul. Yeah, baby. <laughs> See, look at this. So many times the best racing of Speedweeks has been right here on Thursday. Big crowd on hand to see it. And after Sauter, they're two wide, then three, then three, then two, then three. Wow. When they've got on four fresh tires, you can expect this kind of action. The thing about it is, uh, they get the, the longer they run, the worse the cars get to handling and the more reckless they get. Front Jeff Gordon continues to lead. He brings the field to the checkered flag. Here's the race to get into Daytona 500. Mike Wallace makes it. Scott Rates will not. But I'm going to tell you what. Watch Mike Wallace right there in the 09 car. There's the race right there to get in between the 13, the 14, and the 09. Marlin has backed out. So that means it's Nemechek and Wallace. Here they come to the flag. Jeff Gordon's going to win his third duel at Daytona. Nemechek's in, and it may be Mike Wallace. I believe Mike Wallace. Mike Wallace did beat Sterling Marlin back to the line. It's going to be a drag race all the way back to the start-finish line. No He's working on becoming about the third Gore go homer to get up in the top ten. It's not going to be a pole run. He missed the Daytona 500, but he's going to race here tomorrow. Brad Keselowski. It's two rookies in the top ten. Scott Speed eighth and Keselowski ninth.